Hi guys, welcome to the video course Kali Linux Web App Testing. This is brought to you by Pact Publishing, and my name is Jack, but you can also call me Link Cabin. So first of all, we're going to be looking at a course overview. We're in section one, the first video, and we're just going to be looking inside the different sections and what is included within these sections. But first, a little bit about me and what I do. I'm an independent security researcher. I'm really passionate about sort of putting the idea across that information security is a really interesting subject and is a really important subject. I've been part of several bug bounties and I've found vulnerabilities in various places of the internet. The goal of this course is to help develop knowledge in a growing sector. So information security in a whole, web penetration testing, it's getting bigger, there's much more need for it than ever before and it's going to grow even more as more and more applications um, are created within the internet so it's it's a, it's becoming a growing sector certainly I want in this course for people to have a solid understanding of Kali Linux we're going to be mostly looking at web penetration applications that Kali Linux packages but the, the parts of the first section also include some basics with Linux so I want people to have a solid understanding and I hope that this course does provide that also within every single section except the first section, there is some concepts on common flaws in web applications and hopefully by the end you'll have some ideas of different common flaws within web applications. So we'll be using a sample script within this application, every section will use it and it's just basically a script I've designed so that people can test different vulnerabilities and it has every vulnerability that is within this course that is provided so it's very easy to use open source you don't have to go on any other website it's made with PHP, HTML and CSS as well as MySQL so within section one we're just starting off we'll be looking at some basic Kali commands um, simple Linux commands and we'll be taking the first steps so we'll be installing Kali and looking at it in, in an overall operating system sense in section two we'll be looking at injection XSS injection and SQL injection using the applications to identify these as well as the defense on these two and then in section 3 we'll be looking at local and remote file inclusion. The, again, the application to use within Kali Linux to identify these, as well as directory traversal, which is in tandem with them too. Then we'll be moving on to avoiding forced attacks, section 4, where we'll be looking at hash brute forcing and form brute forcing, the brute forcing concept, and the applications that we'll be using to use brute forcing on the average shop script to sort of get the concept of hash and form brute forcing across. So in section 5 we'll be looking at a whole array of different vulnerabilities as well as a sort of introduction to vulnerability scanners which is quite pinnacle to web penetration testing. In section 6 a little bit about what CSRF is, cross-site request forgery, we'll look at testing tools to replicate that and also the defences against CSRF. So in section 7 we're rounding off and there's another vulnerability scanner that I talk about as well as some other vulnerabilities as well as the ending 7.5 wrapping up. Some notes before we delve into the course. In order to follow along you need to be a developer familiar with creating web applications. Some basic knowledge in Kali Linux would be great but is not necessary as we will cover everything in the course. In the next video we'll be looking at taking our first steps.